Now, Scotch has long been a signifier of status, particularly amongst younger men. Between 2010 and 2011, official exports of Scotch whiskey to Kenya rose by nearly three quarters. For more on this, I'm now joined by James Pennyfeather, the group's strategy director uh, for East African Breweries. James, thank you so much for joining us. Now, I was quite hit uh, by the, the stats that I saw, that 73% uh, increase in the amount of uh, whiskey exported into Kenya over the past who's driving all this demand who's consuming these copious amounts of whiskey uh, we're seeing the emergence of a middle class here in Kenya uh, people with a lot more disposable income who are looking for new experiences and if you just look around Nairobi you see a lot of new bars new hotels opening up places like the Kempinski the tribe the Sankara at the Capital Club and at the same time Scotch whisky producers like East African breweries that I work for are investing a lot of money as well to show people how to drink uh, whisky and different ways to enjoy it uh, and we've launched this month uh, a Love Whisky Festival, which is a series of events across the month uh, to show people how to enjoy whisky. Of course, uh, the alcohol beverage industry in South Africa has been under the spotlight for more negative reasons, particularly the ban on advertising. How does this compare with what's happening in Kenya in terms of the space and the scope to openly advertise alcohol? Yeah, I think when you're talking about uh, things like premium Scotch whisky, you're, you're probably talking at a different level. Uh, these are very expensive products that uh, consumers you know, can't really afford to drink too much of them. Uh, but but uh, East African Breweries, which is the, the leading alcohol supplier in uh, Kenya and East Africa, we take responsible drinking very seriously. And actually, as part of the Love Whiskey Festival, we are uh, giving people tips on how to drink responsibly. Giving tips on how to drink responsibly. Perhaps uh, let's also look at some of the changes in market share. We've seen quite a number of international players coming into the Kenyan space, although there are also local players that are holding their own. What are the, the, the innovations that are coming out because of this increased competition in the, in the industry? Yeah, I mean, we certainly welcome competition. We think it's a great thing uh, for the, the industry because it's bringing more interest and excitement into the beer and the spirits category. Um, I think if you look at, at good innovations recently, there's a product called Snap, uh, which is an alcohol uh, flavor beverage that's been targeted at the female sector. Um, and a lot of women in Kenya have, have complained to us that the East African breweries didn't have enough female products so that's a great example uh, of what of a good innovation speaking about women how do the consumption trends uh, fare against their male counterparts yeah i mean i think uh, pretty much across the globe and, I, and i've come from from western europe you find that alcohol consumption amongst women is is lower than amongst men but it's particularly so uh, in East Africa and Kenya uh, and in fact penetration of alcohol is a lot lower but we are seeing uh, an, an increased penetration as uh, across the board women become more enfranchised you know we've now got a number of women on the EABL board for example so um, you know they'd be very cross if I didn't mention uh, how much they enjoy Johnny Walker whiskey just let's take a quick look at uh, the tax situation understanding that alcohol is usually one of the the sin taxes that get a lot of spotlight and easily uh, targeted for for taxation purposes uh, how's your response been to the the taxes that have been levered in kenya uh, I, I don't i mean excise duty is is a part of of the alcohol market across across the world um, you know we we work closely with governments to uh, to help um, help on that dialogue to show you know at what point uh, because at, at what point excise duty is good to be where it isn't going to affect uh, their volume into their exchequers and I think last year East African breweries across uh, East Africa paid over 43 billion shillings in taxes to East African governments so we're a critical part of the economy. 